what's happening, man? It's your boy Papa Duck back with another video. And you already know what time it is. Like, comment, subscribe if you ain't already done that. And also look below, you'll see our merch, all proceeds that y'all buy off our um, merch store. All proceeds go back to the ch channel, excuse me. And if you want to promote on this channel, your book, you want to promote your YouTube page, whatever it is, go to papaduckpromo at gmail.com and we can get it going. Now listen, I want y'all to pay attention to something and tell y'all a story. And this, this, this story is about how strong your mind is, okay? And how the mind works. Pay attention to this story. It's just a true story. It's a guy that really didn't go to school as much. You know, you know how it be. You know, a lot of gagging around or hanging around the wrong people. Okay, he took the HSET test. Scored real high. To the point even his parents thought he cheated. And he said he didn't cheat. He couldn't cheat. So what he did is when he realized that he can score high on the HSET test, he stopped hanging around the people he was hanging with. He started going to school. Long story short, he went off to go to college and became a magazine entrepreneur. Become a, he became a millionaire, okay? But this is what I want y'all to understand. 12 years after that, he got a letter. <laughs> this is the tricky part. 12 years after that, he got a letter. And the letter stated that he was one out of the 13 people that scored a 620, I think it was, on the HSCT. And they sent them the wrong um, scores, right? So what I want y'all to take from this is this. It's not the fact that he scored high, scored low. It's the fact that he had a mindset of he can achieve by scoring high. Because he actually didn't score high. But the mindset that he can and did drove him to become successful. This is what I want y'all to take from this. Trust me, if your mind is saying, I can't, you're not going to do it. People want this magical thing when it comes to success and it is so easy so easy people play so much anxiety around this when it's so easy you need to hang around people that are successful make your build an environment around what it is you want to do that complements the things that you want to do have the right mindset so that your action can follow the mindset because if you say i can't your action is going to say i can't this is why you have to be weary of people that's around you. Because when they don't want shit, they don't want shit for you neither. And the crazy part about it is it could, you could be sleeping with that person every night. That person could be your wife. That person could be your husband. Your baby daddy, baby mama, your whoever. But when people don't want them for themselves, they don't want shit for you. It take a real person to say, you know what, man? I don't like, but man, I support you, man. That's what you want. It take a real motherfucker to do that. Understand me, it do. So you have to set your environment up to be around people that complement that which you say you want to do. Now listen, everybody going to die one day. No one makes it out alive. That alone should be enough motivation to make you say, let me get up every day to accomplish what it is I want to make me be happy. I don't understand people feel as though they're going to die, come back, and continue where they left off at. Not going to happen. So the thing is this, you have to have the right mindset. Once you got the right mindset, that will govern your actions. This is why the government work in the way that they do. They got your mindset, the things you pay attention to. What you pay attention to, it grows. That's a universal law. Whatever you pay attention to, whatever it is, it grows. So they're at a fight, like I told y'all. If you saw my video yesterday about how social media all these platforms, they just fight for your attention. Because if they got your attention, they can keep you on their platform long enough to where they can make money. Not only that, they can persuade how you feel about the world. Because you're paying attention to that more than anything. Even our kids are doing it. So my thing is this. Stop saying, oh, this is going to be the year. Or, boy, I'm going to make it happen. But this year here, all these New Year resolute, man, come on, bro. All you need is the right mindset, determination, consistency. Repeat, repeat. That is it. Everything that you do that's new is going to be unfamiliar. This is how you know you're going to be successful because success is on the other side of your fear. Okay? When you fear something, that fear is what's stopping you from going and moving. You understand me? You have to understand that. And when you're in an uncomfortable 
it um you get an uncomfortable feeling that's growth this is why when you sit down with someone and have a conversation if you walk away feeling good sometimes a bitch just told you what you wanted to hear but when you walk away feeling uncomfortable that's growth because that's that's something you ain't familiar with a bitch told you about your ass or a bitch told you what you need to hear not what you want to hear so we got it all misconstrued losing or an L ain't for losing. An L is for learning. You're supposed to fail. That's where the growth at. A person can tell you to do something a hundred times, a hundred times. You know, you know what to do, but you don't know why. That's where the wisdom come in at. But when your ass go through that and you fall and you fall, now you say, oh, now nah, I know why. And some people, you can tell that too, bro, they'll never get it. They got to go through it. You got to get in that water. Some things you can't go to school and be taught. You got to get in that water. Cause it's an emotional thing they can't teach you that they can tell you that but they can't teach you that so my thing is this stop bullshitting i'm just gonna call it like it is stop playing whatever it is you want to do get off your ass and do it what are you waiting for who are you waiting on it's okay to move on your own and don't expect for people to support you no man don't do that when i used to go to these cities with my music I go to the DJ, I let him, here I am, this is who I am. I don't expect for him to play my music. I don't expect for him to support me. But when I finish with his city, turning that bitch upside down with my street team, the next conversation going to be totally different. See, I knew that the whole time. I had to earn and gain the respect of that DJ. Respectfully. So don't expect for nobody to support you right off the rip. People got their own dreams and aspirations they trying to do. Turn your shit to a reality. So the next time the conversation you have, it ain't, I got that box. It ain't, I'm going to go get me a box truck. It's, you know, I got that box truck. Then the next conversation, man, I just, I, yeah, I just got grabbed my second box truck. See, it ain't the fact of them believing in you. That shit went from a dream to a reality. And I'm telling y'all, bro. A lot of y'all stop y'all selves from doing anything y'all want to do in life because of y'all mindset, because of the people that's around you, because you see them not want to do shit. So now it energy doesn't go nowhere. It just transfers. Because like I told you, if you went on a, on a trip, on a cruise with 10 people, if nine of them 10 people are couples and you're a, you a couple, if them nine couples are feeding their old lady, you know, pulling out the seat, you know, um, uh, you know, making sure they good, they straight, and, and, and kissing them and catering to them. That energy going to rub off on you, and you going to do the same thing. You going to do the exact same thing. Energy doesn't go anywhere. It just transfers. But like I say, set your environment up to that complements what it is you're trying to do on campus. A daycare, lawn service, car wash. If you're trying to open up a group home, bro, you can do whatever the hell you want to do. Like I always tell y'all, and y'all see me tell y'all this, credit, use credit, okay? Use credit. We don't help so many people out with that. If I knew then what I don't know about credit, there's no way in hell I would have used my own money. Because even rich people don't use their own money. Credit. Trust me when I tell you. That's why I push credit, because it helps me help others get in a better position. This ain't no game, bro. Because when you ain't got it and you and your family in the dark, scraping for something to get, something to eat and whoop the wood, whatever the case may be, bro, that's your family, bro. Another bitch ain't going to reach out and say, hey, boy, you scrape, you good. That's why I don't listen to all that other shit. At the end of the day, I want to see you have just as much as me or more. I ain't never been no hater. Hating ain't going to do shit but slow you down. And this is what people say. And this is what they mean when they say this. The only way you can hold me down is if you stay down with me. You know what that means? If I'm hating on you, they don't do much slow me down. So I'm down there with you, hating, hating, ho trying to hold you down. I got to stay down there with you to hold you down. Nah, we ain't doing that. We grown, bro. We got kids, bro. So at the end of the day, man, hopefully I'm motivated because I'm a motivator. If you know me personally, I'm going to be poking your ass in the side every day. It's a it's an honor to have me in your presence because I want to see you do good. Because if you do good, it's going to push me to do good. 
Trust me, bro, when I tell you this, this is real life. This ain't no cap. This ain't no bullshit. This ain't no plan. I'm not a child. I'm telling to you straight up blood raw. Well, I'm going to motivate the hell out you. Or, 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 or find a new set of friends. Because energy don't go nowhere. It just rubs off. If them niggas running around smoking, drinking, or whoever, whatever, whoever they did, and when your homegirl, they just worrying about who's screwing who and who this and smoking, drinking, you're going to be the same thing. You're going to do the same thing. But if your homeboy doing this and he doing that, he over here with, with the community, and, or your homegirl over here doing this, she got a little salon, or your homegirl doing nails, and your home, you going to want to do the same thing. So with that being said, man, get off your ass. Let death be your motivation, because one day you're going to die. I don't give a damn what nobody say. Enjoy your life. Put you and your family in a better position. Do what you got to do. That's simple. So if you made it this far in the video, man, I appreciate you. And like I say, man, fear is something that can happen and, 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 and would happen, but hasn't happened. Fear, you need to do away with it. Success is on the other side of your fear. And we all strengthen fear in our head. Okay? So go out there and be great, man. Fail, get up. Fall five, get up ten. Promise you, by the time you look up, you'll be in the end zone. And you'll thank me later. It's your boy Papa Duck, man. I'll let y'all y'all be successful, man. Go out there and do y'all thing. I'm, I, I believe in you. You dig what I'm saying? And like I say, man. You could be whatever you want to be.